So, another month goes by, and as always, we have a brand new Terraria State of the Game. Now, there's a fair bit of reading with this one, so let's jump right in. Real quick, if you enjoy these new videos and you haven't already, make sure to get subscribed. Here's what Relogic had to say. Labor of Love has reached a point where we feel like the end of development is extremely close. We've been whittling down our bugs and task lists, while also taking on a solid handful of cool ideas that you have shared with us on the forums, social media, Discord, and more. That said, you came here for the latest and greatest. We would hate to disappoint you. So, here it goes. The Void Bag has evolved. For those of you who aren't already familiar with the current version of the Void Bag, it's a portable personal storage container similar to the Money Trough. Uniquely, it also has the ability to automatically pick up any extra items whenever your inventory is full. However, we've expanded functionality to the Void Bag to further enhance its role as a supplementary inventory. For starters, the void bag can now be opened or closed with right click. When in the closed state, it will deactivate its ability to pick up extra items and act just like a second money trough. When in the open state, however, a variety of new functions become available. Any crafting material kept within the void bag will be available for any crafting recipe you will not have to directly access the storage or summon the portal to be able to immediately craft with anything inside of the void bag. Healing, mana, and buff potions stored in the void bag can be used directly via their respective quick hotkey. You can also store all of your favorite buff potions in the void bag and simply refresh at any time. Mana flower auto potion functionality will work with the void bag as well. Enterprising players can keep some of their core buff potions in their regular inventory with a secondary set of specialized buff potions in the bag. Depending on which mode the void bag is in, this will allow players to effectively hold two different potion loadouts at a time. You can now favorite items stored within the void bag. This has been added because you can also quick stack to nearby chests anything inside of your open void bag. Favorite the things you want to keep, and then quick stack for faster chest sorting. And you'll see in the gift that they provided, they actually have a cool animation of this where the item quite literally gets sucked out of the portal and into your chest. And it continues using loot all on a chest with a full or nearly full inventory will deposit any overflow directly into the void bag. There are a number of other items which will function automatically when placed in an open void bag, as they would when in the player's inventory, including information accessories, paint sprayer, presserator, and any accessories that grant wire, actuator, or ruler vision when in the inventory. The guide to critter companionship, keys stored in the bag can also be used to open chests and wormhole potions. So that was quite a lot to take in at once. So a quick recap, the void bag can now be open or closed. And when it's open, it works like a second inventory. Any potions that you have in there can be taken with the buff key and any crafting materials you have in there can be used to craft without needing to summon in the void bag. You can now also quick stack to nearby chests and favorite items inside of the void bag so that you can retain them during the process. Stuff like information accessories or keys can be used from the void bag without needing to open it. And when it's closed, it's kind of like a money trough. So you may remember that this was teased a while back and it's pretty cool to see that a lot of you were definitely correct with your theories. The item that we saw did look like a closed void bag, but a lot of you were like, trust me, it's like a second inventory now. So as for console and mobile news, well, we got a couple of GIFs of Terraria 1.4.4 running on console and mobile, just like alternate versions of things we've already seen. But we did get a preview of what it looks like when your pet shows up in the character select screen. Now, I can't remember, did we get a preview of this before? Or did we just get Senex saying that they'd added it? Either way, it looks good. So on top of this month's state of the game, I also have a couple of spoilers, which I've yet to speak about. So let's jump into those. First off, I jokingly tweeted out, Relogic should turn 1.4.4 into 1.5 and make a boulder boss because of all the boulder memes that we've been seeing. And Red actually responded, with all these memes, there is no way we aren't doing something. You guys will rue the day. And Senex also said, Hope you guys are happy. 
Now, I definitely don't think a boulder boss is working its way into 1.4.4, but I am super curious. How far are they going to go with this boulder meme? On that topic though, somebody did tweet Red and ask, will you be adding more boss fights, like a developer boss fight? And Red responded, well of devs has been discussed before as an easter egg. I imagine a lot of people would like to fight us. Red tweeting this does likely mean that it's not coming in 1.4.4, but it would actually be really cool, especially because we know that Red would presumably fight you with a Meow Mia, and Senex would show up as a summoner. I'm actually not sure what Uri would show up as, but if I had to make a guess, I want to say probably a mage, maybe melee. Next up, somebody tweeted Red and said, not sure how possible it is, but how about a way to manually deny a house's validity? And Reb responded, I got you fam. So now we move on to a pretty serious topic that's divided the fan base quite equally. Do you side with Red or do you side with Senex? So it began when Senex tweeted out, the unimaginable pressure of knowing you are the only thing standing in the way of poo blocks. Red followed it up and said, me and Senex are fiercely negotiating what she gets if I get to add poo blocks to the game. I'd start spamming her with suggestions if I were you. To me, it's not exactly an item I'm rooting for. I'm sorry, Red, but he did give his reasons. He tweeted out, imagine going home to find that your buddy replaced all of your house blocks. The trolling potential is high here. And we did get an update. Senex tweeted out, negotiations with Red are still underway. My asks are big and he has somehow figured out a way to make it gross. We'll keep you guys posted. So which side will you take in this battle? Let me know in the comment section down below. Actually, no, don't. <laughs> I don't even want to read it. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.